Hi, my name is Martha Luke. I write for Getting Through Tough Times with Healthy Place. In this video, I'm going to be talking about surviving negative thoughts. This is really not an easy topic for me to talk about because I have been dealing with some of the worst negative thoughts lately. Um, some of which in include inadequacy, uh, feelings of worthlessness. Um, mostly just like from uh, working an unfulfilling job for nearly a year and just having impatience with finding a new one and then sort of thinking about the future and feeling like I'll be in like just future telling like thinking I'm gonna be inadequate in the future uh and it really sucks because once these thoughts hit it's like it's like there's no getting rid of them um but one thing that I'm finding is helping me a lot is reaching out to loved ones um in whatever way I can like even if it's just through a text that helps a lot um and even if it's at like at like two or three in the morning sometimes I'll go on Facebook and see who can talk and um so that's always nice even though <laughs> Facebook keeps me up um but it's really 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 important to be able to communicate with people you love and people who are going to build you up and remind you that you're okay and that you're not worthless. Um, another thing is I try to um, like go to the adult coloring books first to distract myself from negative thoughts and then once I'm done coloring something I'll be in a better frame of mind and then I can think about okay what went wrong today and what can what can go right tomorrow and what do I have to look forward to tomorrow how can I make tomorrow better than today um, that helps a lot so just first getting yourself grounded into the present and and then so that you can kind of clear your mind and start thinking more rationally about the future and your and your thoughts um, and then one more way that I cope with um, negative thoughts is that I don't make any um, any decisions on impulse. Like, yes, it can be really tempting to just throw my resume out there to any company that I see without writing like a great cover letter um, and without really thinking about all my answers to the questions, but it's definitely better in, in this case to kind of wait until I can talk to somebody before I just apply, 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 apply. Um, because I don't want to, I don't want to burn any bridges. And it's really important to just be in a good frame of mind when you're talking to companies. So uh, getting honesty out there, getting like, getting total honesty out there at the very beginning is the best way to do that. And the only real way that I've found to do that to be able to present myself honestly is to wait and talk to people who can um, kind of help me um, find my rational mind, I guess. So, uh, so yeah, if uh, you guys have any ways that you um, survive negative thoughts, please um, write them down in the comments. Thank you very much. Bye.